Hey there, so this is a video response to Todd Cutler's uh, work on the Instant Legolas and the uh, draw assist that he was working on. Um, so I whipped this up real quick in Blender and I have a 3D printer that I busted this out on. I'm working with a little bit of some limitations of material, but I'm going to walk you through what I was thinking here to help um, with the uneven pull of the arms. So with, um, a lot of this is just like mock-up, but if this right here is your main spring and the, uh, actual, uh, arms of the bow are pushing against it to create the compound effect that Todd was talking about, um, you have an issue of one bow or one arm might, um, over perform than the other and it gets unbalanced. So my solution I was thinking of is that um, while this may be a little bit thin and a little bendy for the plastic, I've made a arm here that has a channel in it. And if you can see there, that hinge has the pin dropping into this channel. And the idea is, is that as these go back, that pin travels down the channel and there's a lot of ways that you would be able to make it so that everything stays in uh in the right spot i again was running into problems with the actual plastic but imagine you flip that channel back over um now when only one um when only one arm gets pushed representing kind of the um uneven nature of what's going on the channel would keep through these arms apply effectively counter pressure on the other arm as well, forcing them to be balanced and going back in a straight line. Um, I was also seeing some people talking about potentially doing that with um, having the bowstring, which would be between the two arms here, tied to whatever mechanism um, is being uh, effectively the charge handle, if I remember correctly, for the instant legless. And so that's where... Uh, I'm not sure what would actually be the most effective, but um, whether tying the bowstring to the, the charge handle or whether using this channel, but I believe the proof of concept is here, and this is definitely what I'm looking at. So, yeah, that's kind of my take on this, and this is what I would look at doing. It'd be pretty simple. All you need are some pins and pivots and a little bit of uh, a channel that could be used to be a guide and to kind of enforce the this the the straight pullback here so yeah cheers